Hi there, thanks for tuning in to this little video. We're going to talk about sigma notation, all right, which is kind of a, a pretty cool thing to, to study. It's not too difficult. Hopefully get, this video will just provide you a little bit of an intro into the mechanics of the notation itself. Not really too detailed, okay? All right, so sigma notation, or sometimes people call it summation notation, it's the same thing. It's really just a convenient shorthand way for writing out a sum of numbers. You could consider it actually a way of abbreviating a long sum of numbers um, in kind of mathematical notation. It's actually really cool. Um, so let's take a look at it. The symbol itself is right there. That is the Greek letter sigma from their alphabet. And in their alphabet, that letter makes the S sound, which we use because sum starts with S. So it makes sense. We're calling it sigma or sum notation. All right. And um, so not only do you see that sigma there, but usually you see some other stuff along with it, like a little equation down at the bottom, some variable, maybe N or I or K or some other letter um, identified, and a little equation that says N equals some number. That is the first value of n that we will use in our summation, and then a number on the top is the last value that we will use. These are called the indices of the expression, in case you want to know. Um, but uh, it's very important just to uh, identify the starting point and the stopping point for your long string, uh, string of numbers to add up. This string isn't going to be very long, only from 1 to 3. Um, and then, along with that, you'll see some kind of an expression outside the sigma notation, uh, the sigma letter there. That's sometimes called the argument or the expression, and it might be n squared plus 1, it might be n plus 1 over n, or some other kind of thing, uh, like 2n plus 3, just some kind of little mathematical expression, and that describes how the terms are um, written out for the sum. So, um, so let's take a little bit more. So that, that, that's how the thing is set up. Um, let's take a look at one here. We'll use that 2n plus 3 example from n equals 1 to 3. So first off, uh, all that means to do is to take your value for n, which is 1, and put it in there for n. 2 times 1 plus 3. And that's our first term. We're going to add to that 2 times 2 plus 3. And that's our next term. And then, of course, we'll use 2 times 3 plus 3, and that's our third term. And since we started with 1 and we ended with 3, we're done for this. Notice a very important thing right here. Um, the n increased there 1, 2, 3, okay? Um, n, and it stops there at 3, and n always increases by 1. Please don't forget that, okay? No matter what situation you end up with in the sigma notation, n always, or the value of the variable, always increases by 1. Okay, well, that's about it. Uh, let's see, there's a couple more. Oh, I guess we should finish out the sum there. It's 5 plus 7 plus 9 equals 21, and uh, that's it. So have fun with that.